Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today I will show you guys 20 iPhone tips and tricks that will help you become an iPhone power user in 2022. Now before we get into the tricks, make sure you smash the like button of this video. That's a trick to make this video do much much better and of course help this channel a lot. And of course if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel because most of you guys that watch my videos are currently not subscribed. So make sure you do that before you leave this video. Alright, we're starting with first thing, we're going to Safari right here so you know on iOS you can take a screenshot on a web page and if you go here you can go ahead and save this as a full page now this will be saved as a PDF file but you can notice right here the web page has quite a few pages but when you save this as a PDF file like this it will save it just as one page as on a PDF file but you can actually save this into a PDF file and of course have all the pages separated the way to do that just make sure you tap the share button and go ahead and tap on print. Now when you go to print, you will see the previews right here. So here we have the pages. You can even select which pages you want to save. And from here, you just 3D touch on one of the pages, tap here, and now you will have the share button. From here, you can go ahead and save this to files. And now you have this saved to files as a real PDF file with all the pages separated. Now one thing that you might not know is that on PDF files that you have saved on the files app, if there are links, you can actually open those links. So you can see right here, this PDF actually has a few links, I can tap on it and of course go ahead and open that link directly from the PDF file which is really cool. Now another thing when you take screenshots on iOS you know that you can add like a magnifier of course to zoom in maybe on a certain certain like section of a page or something like that you want to focus something on what you can do is also do the same thing on pdfs as well the way to do that you tap right there tap the plus button and add the magnifier right here so you have mag the magnifier here of course you can zoom in and out you can even add more of course if you want to have like multiple magnifiers of course you can do that add them like this and just like that you can add and of course save magnifiers on pdf pages now this trick right here really works it's not an ios feature but it works if you're having problems with any apps you can easily clear the ram memory of your device now of course ios does an amazing job on managing the ram memory and you don't have actually to worry about it but if you're just having like issues when with, with an app that is frozen or it's not loading correctly or something like that all you gotta do is just make sure you open the camera app and just wait a second here and then go ahead and close the camera app and this should fix it because this will actually clear the RAM memory of your iPhone. I don't know why it works or how it works, it just works. Even if you add like an app that will monitor the RAM memory of your device, you will notice that once you open and close the camera app, it will actually free up a ton of space on the RAM memory. On iOS, on the clock app, you will have of course the timer and that timer has a feature called stop playing. Now that will actually stop any media that you're playing once the timer is done. Now it will work with any app. Most people think that it actually works just with just with the Apple Music app. It will work on any app like right here if I'm listening to Spotify. All I have to do if, if I set a timer here, I can just go ahead and choose to stop playing when the timer ends like that sent. And then of course we'll stop playing once the timer ends right here and then of course we'll stop playing right here even on Spotify and you can see it will take us to the lock screen so it works with any app and if you just want to know exactly when a timer ended without looking at your phone you can do this with any media. Whenever you're using the camera app of your iPhone you know that when you go to the camera you will have the settings reset all the time. The way to fix that go to your settings go to camera right here and what you will need to do is just go ahead and pre preserve the settings. Go right here to preserve settings and you will have settings for everything here from the live photos to the portrait zoom that you use to the night mode. You can set like a specific amount for night mode. You know that night mode goes from one second to 10 seconds of course based on how dark the environment is but you can choose that to be any seconds you want. Just enable this and it won't reset at all. It will stay like that for the all time and of course you will have exposure. You have creative controls and camera mode as well so if you want to always go on a certain camera mode when you open the camera app you just enable this and it will always go straight to the camera mode which you have left on. 
On Safari on iOS 15, you know that now we have groups of tabs, an easy way to organize your tabs of course on different groups. So what if you want to copy the links to all the tabs that are on one group? What you need to do is tap right here and then tap there and you will see your groups right here. What you can do is tap and hold one of them and from here it will show you what tabs you have opened on that group and of course you can go ahead and copy all the links to that group from here. Now if you have a lot of tabs open on Safari, the easiest way to find the tab that you want is to search them. The way you search tabs on Safari, you just go to the tab view, you can see nothing here, but if you just swipe down, you will reveal right there a search bar, which will basically let you search on the tabs that you have open. So search any tab and find them easily right here on Safari. Another really cool trick on iOS is the ability to hard lock your iPhone. Now hard locking your iPhone is just locking your iPhone with a passcode and immediately disabling Face ID or Touch ID. So in any case that you just want to completely turn off Face ID on your device to do that quickly, all you got to do is just press volume up, volume down, press and hold the side button and there we go. It's on the shutdown menu here and from here there's nowhere to go, you tap the cancel button, it will take you right here to the lock screen and the device is locked. And you can see it will first require the passcode in order to re-enable Face ID or Touch ID. Now previously Siri could announce calls on iOS. Now on iOS 15, Siri can announce any notification. Now the way to do that, go to settings, go to Siri and search, and right here we'll have announce notifications. If you go here, you will have of course the ability to announce notifications from there, choose to enable them from your iPhone, and of course then you will have a list of all the apps that you actually have installed on your device. And from here you can choose for which apps you want to enable this feature. So of course Siri won't announce all notifications from all apps but just the apps that you choose from here. Now with Siri you can basically share anything like screenshots, maybe you're on the website or you're on Apple Music, you can just ask Siri to share this and it's ready to go. So if I'm on a website right here, I don't have to actually maybe copy the link of this website if I want to send it to someone or things like that, I can just ask Siri, share this with test M. And just like that, the website is actually ready to be sent to that contact. As easy as this, you can share music, websites, and of course, screenshots as well. Now this trick right here is very simple, yet it's very, very useful. You will most likely use this a lot on your device. So on the lock screen of our devices, of course, we have the ability to turn on the flashlight, but this will actually turn on like accidentally a lot of the times, maybe like trying to get your iPhone out of your pocket, out of your purse or something like that, a lot of times we just turn it on accidentally. The way to actually turn it off really quick, just swipe like this. So from right here, from the right to the left, just swipe here just a bit and it's ready to go. It has been turned off just like that. On the default player of iOS, you have the ability to change the speed of the playback of the video. Now the way to do that, tap right here on these three dots and from here you can go to like playback speed here and you can see you will have different speeds to which you can play the video. Of course you can slow it down and you can go up to 2x and of course play the video faster just like that. Now here of course you also get other options like languages and you have subtitles as well so if of course a video supports subtitles you can go ahead and choose them from here and display them on the video that you're playing and of course you will have even options here for different languages. On iOS, you can search photos based on the text that's on that photo. So if I have a screenshot of settings, in this case, I can search for settings and it will show me those photos, of course, that contain that word. So just like that, I can go ahead and open them, of course, from here or tap here to go into the photos app. Now, the thing is that this actually doesn't work on the search bar within the photos app it only works from the spotlight search i don't know why apple did this or if it's a bug or something like that but it only works from the spotlight search not within the photos app now of course since iOS 15 clearing notifications is the easiest thing you can do 
Now previously you had to do that individually of course one by one in iOS 15 you get this X button just simply 3D touch on it and you will get here the option to completely clear all the notifications and that is of course super super useful but not just that you can also just mute notifications for any app you want so if I just swipe right here on this notification I can tap on options and it will give me the ability here to mute the notification for one hour or from to for today for that certain apps of course not all on all notifications just that one app when talking to someone on FaceTime, maybe you're in a lot environment and things like that, you don't want, of course, all the noise to be heard through your phone. What you can do is simply go to the control center and tap right here on mic mode, 3D touch there, and use voice isolation. This will isolate the voice and, of course, your video, your video call will be much, much quieter. Anytime you want to type something on all caps on iPhone, the simplest thing you can do simply double tap right there on the caps lock and you can see it will turn like that and now you will have the caps lock turned on and of course it will stay that way until you turn it off manually. On the mail app of iOS you can quickly go to your drafts from anywhere simply by holding the new mail button. Tap and hold there, it will give you the option here to start a new message or of course display the drafts if you have any saved. Anywhere on iOS where you have your keyboard all you have to do is just tap with three fingers like that and it will show you right here the menu from where you can undo, cut, copy and paste. So the easiest way to copy, paste anything, undo, redo anything, just tap with three fingers anywhere on the screen and you're good to go. So that's basically it for this video guys. These are 20 iPhone tips and tricks that will help you become a power user in 2022. Thank you guys for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. And I'll see you on the next one.